Hey everybody, Tundra Guy here, and I am so freaking excited. Why? Because today is the day that I got my new running boards, aka iBoards, to install on my Toyota Tundra. And it I've owned this truck for about a year, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And um, this is gonna be like the first upgrade to my truck that I really do. And there's so many things that I want to do on this truck, but this was my number one thing is to get some new running boards for for my truck. And I'm just, I'm so excited these finally came in and we're going to be doing an install video today and uh, show you everything about the iBoards, why I chose these iBoards and how freaking easy these are to install. So let's get right to it. All right, so this is the first thing you see as you open up the box. I just took the lid off. We got the two running boards in here, one here, one here. And this is all of our, our tools that we're gonna need. Here we go. Instructions. Bolts, washers, nuts. Some of those. Here's our brackets. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and it should be one more. I miscounted those. Oh, yep, there's two in this one. So uh, there's six total brackets, three for each side. Take this box out. And I'm just going to turn this one over like that so you can see the top of it look at that these are six inch eye boards biggest size they sell so they get a nice foothold getting in or out of the truck these things look amazing why did I choose the eye boards uh, a couple different reasons number one these things are aluminum you know what that means that means that they're not gonna look like uh, ugly rusted out running boards after a couple years you see those uh, running boards on people's trucks they just they look like they're about to fall off why because they are made out of steel they get a little hole in them the hole spreads from the rust and they just they just rust out the other thing about these this pad this rubber pad on the top runs the length of the entire board these steps it, the whole thing is padded that is awesome you don't have that little piece of oval rubber you know that I see peeling up on the corner of the oval you see the edge start to peel up on people's trucks so I really did a lot of homework before I bought these I didn't uh, just go out and buy the first thing that I saw these things I think are gonna be perfect for this truck and uh, I think they're gonna last a long long time probably even longer than the truck itself so uh, Let's, let's uh, open up these these bags and get everything separated. Okay, here we go. These are all nice and labeled for us. Here you see we have driver front mount, driver center mount, driver rear mount. And the same thing for the passenger side. Passenger front mount, passenger center mount, passenger rear mount. We have our bolts. These are gonna go on the truck itself when you mount uh, the brackets to the truck. We got some, I guess these are like T-bolts or square bolts. These are gonna, these are smaller and they're gonna go onto the underneath of the eye boards. They're gonna go in these grooves right here. Okay, we got some uh, nuts for those, some washers, two different size washers, and then we have some lock washers as well. So whenever you mount the bracket to the truck, you're gonna use one of these bolts, the larger bolts. You're gonna use one of these lock washers and you're gonna use one of the larger washers. These smaller ones go with these guys right here. Okay, now let's go underneath the truck and take off the existing bolts and mount our first bracket. By the way, another piece of useful information, this bolt that came out is a 12 millimeter bolt so if you want to get your tools ready 12 millimeter the bolts that come with it 13 millimeter 
So you're gonna have to swap them out to put these in. Another thing, if it uh, is helpful to make this job a little easier, if you don't have a set of these, these are like awesome. A little socket um, uh, drill bits to attach to your sockets. Usually come in a set of three. I got these on eBay, I think two bucks, three bucks or something like that. They also sell them at Harbor Freight for like th four or five bucks. Come in a set of three for your three H driver, your half inch driver, um, you, whatever bit that you could possibly have. There you go. Quarter, half, three eighths. Um, I'm gonna have to swap these out and put a smaller one on for the 13 millimeter uh, for whatever reason. But um, yeah, these make your job go a little bit easier and they go right into your current drill. Okay, we're gonna start with the driver front, driver tire. There's the first hole right there. Now, I did have to kind of prime this hole right here because it's exposed to the elements and it gets a little bit of rust up in there. So I did put a little bit of grease in there and I took the bolt that was in here and I put it in there and I ran it in and out a few times just to get that hole primed and ready to go. So it wasn't an issue. The other bolts that go in and out shouldn't be a problem the rest of the way because uh, they're not exposed to the elements like this one is. So uh, here we go, let's do this first one. You just want to hand tighten these for now. Okay, that's it. One done. Two more to go. All right, so the joys of filming, right? So I just told you guys that that little set of socket drivers for your drill was awesome. And right after I said that, my drill locked up. So uh, I couldn't get that bit out. Now I'm back to using a socket. So uh, they are awesome as long as you don't have a stupid craftsman drill like mine that locks up. I um, think I'm going to need a new driver now. So that'll be my next uh, present to myself. Let's go ahead and take these out. This, by the way, is the second set of bolts. So you see there's the first bracket. Just follow that down until you see the next set of bolts. Take these guys out. Driver center. Okay, almost done with the uh, install here. From the front of the car, there's this front tire, first, second bracket. You're gonna follow this down. You're gonna skip that one, that set of bolts, and you're gonna come to this last set of bolts right here. You're gonna take those out, okay. And finally, driver rear. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna get this done. So freaking excited about this. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to see the finished product. So far, oh my gosh, this is so easy. No drilling holes. Awesome. Okay, 
Now, it doesn't matter which side you start from, but each side has these little slots here. You're gonna take four of these and you're gonna put them in each groove. One, two, three, four. Same thing down here. And then line them up with your brackets the whole way down the board, okay? Once you're done lining them up, they should look a little something like that. Okay, and then you're gonna flip over the board and you're gonna put it right on top of the brackets, lining up the bolts with those holes. Then you're simply gonna take one of the smaller washers and the lock nuts and put them on underneath. And when you're done, all your holes are lined up all the way down. You should be good to go. And then you'll tighten everything up. All right, guys, I have all of my lock nuts and washers on the bottom. Two things to note before I tighten all of this down. This board, you can move this back and forth to your desired position. Once you get it lined up where you want it, then that's when you want to tighten everything down. Now, I think mine's pretty good. I might move it back a little bit. About right there. But uh, I'm gonna have a nice surface the whole way back for people to stand on. Look at that. Huge difference. Huge difference. I'm gonna have a nice step to get on. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, this is it. Everything's all done. Everything's on, tightened up, torqued down, and this is the finished product. See right there? That's a six inch board. Doesn't really stick out beyond the truck at all, which is nice. Here's the other side, here's the driver's side. And I got the matching black brushed aluminum because my truck is like got that black and chrome look to it. So all in all, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, if you guys like what you see, do me a favor, subscribe, like, share, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.